So where you will be requiring to completely write new programs in S4 HANA when you're moving to conversion. So let's say you have a custom tables which you have generated where you are storing some data. Okay. Now this from this custom tables, you have created a aggregated tables, multiple aggregated tables you have created. Then from there you have a program which give you the reporting, right? If you want to simplify, now this thing also will work as it is in S4 HANA. But if you say that boss, I want to simplify this one. Okay, I have these my these aggregated tables. Sometimes these aggregated tables, the the for uh, your rebates, the aggregated table which we use for one of the client, it was one terabyte. It was one terabyte. So if these aggregated tables are huge in memory and that is bringing a lot of memory in your system and that program is also uh, if not work well if you directly take the data from the custom tables if you want to improve these things then here you need to write a cds view where you will be seeing that the custom tables will be read through a custom cds view and that would be giving you a report so this program need to be replaced with the custom CDS view, which would be directly taking the data from custom tables. And this need to be removed. That would be improving your performance. Again, it's not mandatory. This, uh, this is not mandatory to do it. But if you will do this, this would be improving your uh, uh, performance and it will also reduce your data footprint a lot. Okay, it will also reduce your data footprint a lot. You got it. So each and every place to do the conversion where the table has been removed, you need not to write the CDS view SAP has already written and given to you.